a unique and revolutionary communication satellite designed specifically to cover Europe and the Middle East. One of the world's busiest regions for maritime and aviation traffic. GX5 represents something new for Inmarsat in terms of the speed of turnaround. Together with Talos Alenia Space, we've been able to reduce the time to deliver to just over two years from start to finish. A satellite designed to complement Inmarsat's existing high-capacity GX fleet and act as a bridge into the next generation of global high-speed coverage. We have succeeded to put a very powerful payload in, uh, in a small box. <laughs> if you compare to our previous uh, Inmarsat 5 satellite, we are twice the capacity. The satellite is very compact, a lot of hardware, a lot of complexity inside, and really the challenge was the way we build it, assemble it, and, and test it. A satellite of advanced design and engineering skill, incorporating over 15 kilometers of wiring, all completed from start to finish, 30% faster than previous GX satellites. You take the four previous GX and you do it something uh, even better in one spacecraft. If you take a close look at the feed horn arrays, you'll see that they're actually in the shape of the feed pattern that we expect to put across Europe and the Middle East. And that allows us to concentrate the energy of the spacecraft into one region, a true groundbreaking event for Inmarsat. Prior to launch, I mean, the space cars go through month and month of testing on ground to simulate the environment it will see during the launch. The solar arrays have already been tested with this, mounted to the side of the spacecraft. They've been taken off while final configurations are done and testing is done, but those will be mounted again soon, along with the side mount reflectors that actually take the signals from the Earth and beam them in and out of the feed horn assemblies that are buried underneath that plastic tape. A team of more than 150 people in locations around the world coming together to create a groundbreaking project. One of the things that makes me most proud about GX5 is the team. And the team together has delivered such a tremendous capability in a very short period of time and done it so well. I'm so proud of this team. It's a great piece of engineering work. This launch is my first launch campaign, so I'm going for preparation of the spacecraft in Kourou. I will be in the room uh, waiting for the spacecraft to be uh, alone in space. This one's really special to me. It's the first one that I've managed from beginning to end. Really excited. It will be the third launch while I've been at Inmarsat, but my first while I've been in CTO. So it's a bit closer to my heart than the other launches. It's a very important launch for me because it's the first program I follow from the very beginning to the end. I really think it's the, the program on which I contributed the most. When GX5 launches, I will be part of the few uh, people who will be uh, witnessing the launch. This will be my last campaign and this will be the first one where we'll have the opportunity to uh, witness the launch for an, uh, an Inmarsat uh, spacecraft and satellite then. Built by people with vast experience and others starting out their careers in the space sector, together they've worked more than 570,000 hours to build GX5. The team is, is, is key. Indeed, I want to thank them because they did an amazing job. They spent a long time, uh, especially during the, the test phase here in Cannes. It was hard work for, the, for our team too, so I really want to thank them for that. You can really feel the buzz build up in the days leading up to the launch. It's the end of one part of the story, actually building the spacecraft, and the start of the next phase where we operate the spacecraft. None of this happens in isolation, really. Everybody has an input. It's the culmination of all the work that we've done. And then to operate it for the next 15 years, it's, it's pretty exciting. This is my 39th year of being in the satellite business. I grew up in this business. I've been doing this all my life. All of the work and energy of a great team has come together in one shining moment. And during that period of time, you feel the thunder and roar. You pray a little bit too. And at the end, uh, you celebrate the fact that you as a team have been able to deliver tremendous capabilities that ultimately are gonna serve people for decades to come. GX5 will be launched on Friday, the 22nd of November, 2019. We always have to check to make sure that these red covers come off before it gets launched. Whenever you see red on a spacecraft, it means take this off. <laughs>